Hey guys, Daniel here from PT2 and today I want to talk to you about breaking through those really hard plateaus that you're getting in your squat. So if you're someone that is really, really struggling to get even an extra 10 kilos on the bar this year, then you're likely missing one key thing and I'm going to share that with you today. So a lot of the time I see people in the gym coming in and lifting the same amount of weight, doing the same type of squat with no real progression and it kind of frustrates me to be honest because there are so many things that we can do to help fix that. Now the first thing that I'll address and the thing that I'll go through today is if you're struggling with the same movement pattern and you're not getting anywhere, why don't we try and look for stability over strength? Now when I say stability, this differs from strength. People can be really, really strong and not have any stability through their hips and through their core musculature, okay? So I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but a lot of the times when people are lifting heavy, heavy loads and they can't seem to go to the next level, it's because their body isn't stable enough. So they're getting this inhibition of their muscles saying, hey, I don't really feel comfortable putting more weight through this um, unstable structure. So I'm just going to dull down the amount of force that we're able to put through our leg muscles. So I'm putting forward the notion that if someone can't split squat effectively with no side to side deviation, then maybe they should rethink their squat. So when you're looking at the hip muscles like the glute max and especially the glute med, where the glute med's main role is for stability. So when people are trying to activate through their glutes by doing these like clam exercises or these banded walks, they're really good for glute hypertrophy. But if you're wanting to increase your squat, then you're not really doing much. You need to train its function. So that's why split squats um, or single leg stance exercises are really good to increase the glute activation and increase the stability through your hips. Does that make sense? Okay, so going back to the original point of how do I get through this plateau of you know coming in all the time doing the same weight on the bar struggling through and not being able to progress there's one simple thing I want you to think about I want you to think stability before strength what I want you to try is going through a phase of doing unilateral movements so really working on split squat variations, so your Bulgarian split squat, your front foot elevated split squats, or your even your lunges, something that's gonna challenge the stability around your lower body. I also like to incorporate uh, specific stability exercises as like daily drills or warm-ups. So you're kind of preparing the hips and preparing the core to take heavier loads, kind of like what we were saying before about the body not being quite ready to take the heavier loads and that's why it's stopping the muscles from giving that force. We're kind of preparing it. We're kind of giving that neurological signal to say, all right, let's go for an extra 2.5 kilos on each side. So takeaways are go through a phase of unilateral movements, incorporate stability exercises, especially for your hips and core, and don't be scared to back off the weight, take one step back, to go three steps forward. Hope that helps. If you thought this was helpful and you enjoyed it, please like, comment, share, thumbs up, everything. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed.